Merry Christmas everyone. This is Lady T ZCD finally doing her home tour for Christmas. Let's get started and I hope it won't be too long. Merry Christmas everyone. So I'm starting at my front door. It's a little bit too cold to open the door and let you guys see how uh, it looks outside. Maybe I'll do another video later on. But this is inside my door. Uh, I have a reef uh, in, on the inside of the door and it's very, very pretty. I had this reef last year and uh, so I just spruced it up and put some um, other sticks in here just to make it look, look a little bit fuller. Uh, my theme for this Christmas is my colors I chose was the traditional red and green colors. I had those colors last year so I just wanted to incorporate some more new uh, ornaments and what have you and stuck with that theme. However, I did want to make it more whimsy so my theme for my uh, holiday uh, decoration is whimsy or a winter wonderland. So let me get started here. Okay, that's my door as you can see. That's the start that it says joy. Uh, I'm not going to just point out everything. It's it'll be too much so let me get started um that is my uh bells on the door here like jingle bell bells and i'm um, going over here this is my beautiful deer i have sitting here gold and with the traditional um colors on my deer very very pretty didn't want to do too much on this table. I just try to incorporate what I have already. Uh, at the bottom of this table in the uh, foyer, you're, you can see that you're greeted with the traditional um, uh, reef. I think it's a half reef down here at the bottom. And I just uh, filled it in with some um, pine cones, ornaments, and what have you to match the deer. I think the deer is very, very pretty. Uh, moving right along. Still in the foyer. I just put this uh, bell on top of uh, a candle holder here. And I always had this uh, sign already here, keep calm and pray on. Up top, you're greeted by some friendly elves. As you can see, they're hanging out up here on top of my curio. Uh, my theme is also burlap as well. I did go with a burlap uh, theme along with uh, the red and green and white Christmas colors. So I love them. They look so cute. And they sit up, they've been sitting up there for at least a week just chilling out. I love them. They are really, really cute. So moving right along. Along. In my living room, I just try to min minimize a lot of stuff. Um, I do have the Santa sitting here with the scented uh, pine cones. I don't know if you can see that or not. They're inside his belly. <laughs> thought that was cute. I got that from the thrift store last year. So he's in, hey, he's greeting you, hello, Merry Christmas, and he greets you as you go out the door. Moving right along. These pillows on the sofa. One came from, um, I already had this one here, the glitter one, the small one, glitter. And I got that one, y'all. I think I did a uh, haul, and I got that from, um, got this one from um, Target for $3, and that one was $12. So I love glitter. Anything that shines, Glitzy and glamour. I love those two pillows, and that's all I wanted to do on that sofa. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. And uh, this this throw, I picked up this throw. I don't know where I have this stuff, y'all. I don't know where I got. So I'm not trying to remember stores and prices and all that. But I remember uh, that I love the the um, embellish little like uh twist here they, they remind me of when you twist your hair in a, in a, in a two strand two strand twist and i just love that uh that pattern and that full thickness and softness of that throw here i just incorporated a dollar tree vine with another little pick here i have my scented candle uh, going this came from fall actually this little stand and everything and i just incorporated all that uh together from the dollar store and it looks very festive. I just propped some Dollar Tree um, flowers right here on my vase. Pan back and let y'all see that. Yeah. So I thought that was cute. 
move right along. I didn't put a pillow on this chair because I just wanted to actually see the chair this time. I just got tired of, you know, not seeing the print and the, uh, at, I guess it's like an antique looking uh, scripture on the chair, a scription on the chair. So I just wanted that to be seen without any pillows this time. I know I'm going to place a pillow right there in the middle, but I didn't want a pillow right there. I thought that looks nice. And over here, I just put some um, poinsettias and put some red lights inside that beautiful vase. Kept it really simple. I incorporated things I had already with this um, particular reef set here. And uh, it turned out really, really nice. These two, um, the four stars, the six stars you see back here are actually stocking holders from last year. And I just kind of mix and match, put things in different spots and made it look you know brand new look at this y'all baby it's cold outside and I mean it is cold outside I got this from uh, TJ Maxx for nine dollars I thought that was really cute and that's my uh, tablescape for my living room or if you will my sitting sitting area okay moving right along my sofa I think I did a haul with these pillows these pillows I got from TJ not TJ Maxx but a Tuesday morning I love the glitter on the pillows I was gonna go with this cream and this kind of rustic color but I think it I changed my mind because it would have been too much trying to incorporate all those different colors this new color into uh, throughout the home so that's what I had this pill these pillows back here I already had so I love the green the green and the burgundy together which blends in to the Christmas colors scheme that I already have very very pretty you guys I love it on my sofa that's the minimum that I'm gonna put on that sofa okay moving right along going up the stairs you're also greeted by this beautiful sign that says Merry Christmas it's kind of like that chalk chalk board uh, look that everybody's doing now actually I just bought it already written and I don't have to worry about nothing about handwriting or what I'm gonna say and I just bought it like that already don't know I forgot where I got it from but um picked that up. I think it was from Home Goods. My choice for my um, decoration, my vines, uh, garland that goes upstairs was the the um, burlap poinsettias. So I really just have a mixture of poinsettias, the um, mesh, green or red Christmas color mesh. Um, and then also have, as you can see, the burlap bows going up the stairs along with the poinsettias so my theme for the uh, garland that goes up the stairs are poinsettias different shapes different colors poinsettias and again you can see the burlap bows so this goes all the way up the stairs look at that beautiful uh, pine setter flower love that and you can see the burlap pine pine setter uh flower poinsettia I'm saying poinsettia lord y'all know i'll be putting making up words poinsettias and along with the burlap going up the stairs i hope y'all can see that it's so pretty i am so pleased it, it took you know a couple of days to try to get this to my likings to finish the full look of it all because i just kept on adding things and taking thing, things away, you know, as far as the, the look that I want. I didn't want any ornaments or, yeah, I just I wanted something different. So I just chose the different type of burlap, uh, you know, poinsettia, poinsettia flowers and the different type of uh, poinsettias, period. And it goes all the way up the stairs. And at the top of the stairs, I have a tree, um, this red and gold, in white a red gold and white with the little bone top I might go up there and let y'all see it a little bit closer but the view the idea I had in mind was when you come in the door you look up this you can look up the stairs and see that you're greeted with a tree and you're greeted with this beautiful um, I would say um, garland going up the stairs and it says Merry Christmas and it goes all the way up and then you finish with a beautiful tree at the top Okay, we're going right along and moving right along into the family room. As y'all already know, y'all seen this my uh, floor plan before. Um, 
this to my left is my family room I'm going right on in y'all can hear the music in the background that's my you you log um, fireplace or that fire uh, place burn burning a fire that's uh, burning on the TV <laughs> all right if I can get that out oh y'all I'm so tired trying to get this stuff together I have some gifts under the tree but I'm not finished we're still wrapping and I went with try to go with the um, same color scheme that I have throughout the home uh, which is the burlap color natural looking paper and the uh, burlap wrapping paper and bags because I didn't feel like wrapping all these dang on presents there's too many presents to be wrapping so I always incorporate both bags and uh, wrapped gifts and again we're not done these are just some of the presents that we have under the tree and um, the tree um, what is that called y'all the treescape the, the little thing that scarf to go around the tree says happy holidays happy holidays again I've had this already I had them that had the scarf uh, last year so it was easy for me not to go crazy and just change colors and just do everything all over again all the way up to the top of the tree you have a burlap and that pattern type of a uh, print isn't that gorgeous I love that burlap look and I did the little sticks put that in to make it look full it's supposed to be a bow I did all this myself I I had no help I had some help with my daughter a little bit but the decoration and ideas the idea I came up with my you know by myself and what have you it's a skinny tree it's uh, not full I do have a fat tree a full tree <laughs> I've been having for years but I wanted something different I got this tree last year so I wanted something different a little bit smaller so you have more room to put presents and you have more room to walk around in the family room I don't have a big family room so um, yeah that's my husband's mother's gift the big gift back that he insists on wrapping wrapping it <laughs> so I got to put some kind of burlap bow or something on it but I do love my my tree I'm gonna go up a little bit closer so y'all can see some of the burlap uh, ornaments this is a little owl look at this I told my husband that's you <laughs> and uh, the tree is gorgeous I, I must say the burlap uh, ornaments was a little bit more expensive than just regular ornaments I do have the burlap um, rib ribbon the rhythm, I can't even talk y'all. Ribbon came from, um, I guess, Big Lots. I love the hats. I think I showed y'all these hats one time uh, before, once before, before I started decorating uh, that I was gonna put on my tree. These little burlap flowers came from the Dollar Tree. So, yes, the burlap look is a little bit more expensive. I, I said, I don't know if I should've went with just plain. <laughs> the plain uh, ornaments plain red and white ornaments oh I took that one down the pine cone I think I showed y'all that once before that's my daughter's um, ornament her name is Zori it starts with a Z and anything that I find it with a Z on it which, I, which is hard to find I try to go ahead on and pick it up so she loved it fell in love with that I'm surprised she didn't put it on her own tree but she has a tree upstairs in her room but I, I picked out that color to match the theme colors downstairs her thing her um tree is turquoise and I think red or something I don't know but anyway this is what I did I love my bow I love those picks that I use to go inside along with that bur uh, burlap poinsettia and it, it, it couldn't be I mean it was by itself and it just looked so skinny and just it didn't look right I had to add something to you know spruce spruce it up by it being a skinny tree a slim tree anyway okay enough about the tree let's move on to the fireplace uh, the mantle here we go my three wise men men love them um, I've had them for a while I, I collect them I only started collecting them like in the last couple of years so they are gorgeous look at the detail on them gorgeous 
they look so real and uh yeah so this is my burlap runner that i put on top of the mantle and i just had these from last year these are my uh stocking holders that i got from um Tarjay. they're a little bit expensive y'all the chocolate metal uh stocking holders i'm be i'm gonna use these throughout the for a minute because I mean really I can't be those stocking holders are very very expensive and again I wanted something different um you see the little angel girl there I got her from of course Dollar Tree uh the gold leaves Dollar Tree Noel I love that I wanted something different other than just saying Merry Christmas I love because it has the burlap um on here as well and again that was my theme the colors and everything but that's why I started out uh, with my idea as far as what I'm going to use uh, for my theme was this particular stand and I said it had the burlap on and I said that that's what I'm going to go with so this is what I started off with with my idea moving right along as you can see still have the angels up the little gold uh, stem leaves on the back and I have a little house these little homes little houses I had um, previously before that's another little beautiful little chocolate angel right there it's a boy got that from the Dollar Tree and it's the little town right here I had a lot of these one time I had put them up last year I put them up uh, or two years ago I put them up put them on top of my cabinet cabinet in the kitchen but I didn't pull them all out this time in the house and then all the stuff that comes with it. I just put a few up here on the on, to, on the mountain okay move right along the stockings had these last year as well uh, Thought they was real real pretty as you can see uh, I have my husband first name his letter of his first name is D my name Trina my daughter's name is Zori but her middle name is I Imani so I could not find a Z so I use that as the I for her middle name and of course my son name is Christopher so that's his C he already have something in his uh stocking let's go down below see if I can pan back a little bit oh up let's see here and this is what I call my little winter, winter wonderland here at the bottom of the fireplace. My little snowman and just stuff to make you happy. Happy holidays, joy, little boxes I got from Dollar Tree. Yeah, my little Santa. I wish I could see it at nighttime, but uh, I don't have it lit up. Yeah, it's cute. Let me pan back a little bit. And there's my little penguin up there at the top. It's like a little sound, like a little winter wonderland or North Pole type of thing. Yeah, it's cute. So I had to stop because I'm going crazy, y'all, as far as decorating is concerned. <laughs> as I always do. So let me pan out and let y'all see how it looks, how it came together. And at the bottom. I thought that was really really cute and you can just you know it's up to you how you want to decorate you can add what you want to add take away what you want to take away I'm going to pan on around that's Big Daddy's chair um let's look at the sofa here what am I doing let's see what time it is I mean as far as my time frame is not too bad okay family room Christmas pillows outrageous in these stores and I just went try to be as simple and minimum as possible because they wanted too much for these pillows and these stores with the the, um, the glitter and the, all that glitz that I really really don't like they wanted twenty five dollars a pillow which I was saying no so I got this little cute pillow uh, from I think Bit Lots for six dollars and I thought it was real real cute real, very Christmassy casual and comfortable for this particular setting in my family room because this is where we lounge and look at TV we come together as a family and look at TV look at my Santa I got him from the consignment store he is so cute got little bells on his on his uh, outfit the pillows two for $16 I think I got that from, those from Tarjay and my throw I love this throw it was the last throw $9 I got this from Bit Lots. now y'all that is gorgeous so Christmassy, so soft. Um, that my kids love, you know, my son come over here and he loves it. 
And I said, y'all can't wrap up in that now. I got tons of old throws and nice other throws, but this is my Christmas decoration. Don't be trying to wrap up in it <laughs> and mess it up. So yeah. And that was, that's another pillow, same pillow on the other side. And the one in the back, I got that from two from Good. No, I'm sorry, Home Goods. Two for I think two for 19 or something like that. So yeah. Love that. I'm just doing a uh, view of everything in my family room. And we sit here and look at TV movies, popcorns, all that stuff. So yeah. Oh, I forgot my little centerpiece here. This is my little countdown uh, nutcracker here. And we have six days left. And inside of that box, which goes with my throw on the sofa, it's like chocolate mints and peanut butter cup Christmas wrapping uh, cups of the green, gold, and red peanut butter cups and just mints and stuff. So yeah, moving right along. Okay, going into the kitchenette. This is my theme, my look for my kitchenette this year. Love it. Look at those tables. I mean, look at the table. Look at the chair covers. My little Santa chair covers. Got those from the Dollar Tree. Couldn't believe it. Picked those up. And this is what we eat all the time. This is our family table. I made this job. This runner is just a uh, cut this run off of paper uh, mesh roll that I bought for six dollars at um, Goodwill. Not Goodwill, uh, Bit Lots. That was ten dollars, Bit Lots. And I made my I do something different this year. I uh, made this. This is just a stick from um, the Dollar Tree, and I just put one of those. Uh, I had tons of uh, straws, and I said, you know what? I don't like that uh, vine sticking out like that. Let me go ahead on and uh, put a straw at the end to bring it to make it more Christmassy. So that's what I did. So I got two greens and two reds. Yeah, so something different, y'all. Use what you have and use your emer your imagination because anything goes and everything goes when it's Christmas and the Christmas decor. You can decorate as little as you want or as much as you want. I did the two bowls on the side of the curtain. This is going out to my patio, my deck. And I just did, um, for the pullbacks, I did a ribbon. And this is actually a door knocker or a door, whatever you call it hangs from the door. I got it from the Dollar Tree and I decided to put it along with my ribbon to pull back my curtains and it looks cute. Just adorable. I got another one over here on the side. Let's see if I can go over here. Yeah. Very easy. Very easy to do. Very creative. I think. So it looks good. On the um, countertop kitchen a wreath that I had left over and I just put a bow on top of it and I put a little bow, a uh, Santa bow that I got from um, Dollar Tree inside the bigger bow and there you have it. Tablescape uh, decoration for the countertop. And centerpiece here for the countertop. I got these little trees from um, Bitlocks. The deer I have also purchased from Bitlocks and I just put a little stick of that little, I love butterflies. So the butterfly had to go in there as well. Very festive. All right, move right along. Let me go on, keep moving here. Cause this could be long. Just put a little uh, Dollar Tree, not Dollar Tree, a little uh, consignment store counter thing around the hand sanitizer. Yeah, to make it look more festive. Over here, I got that from um, the, what I got this from? Dollar Tree. I got this particular um, platter here from the consignment store for five dollars. I love the little Christmas tree uh, prints that they have in, that they uh, show inside of each one of these. So I have that on display in my um, sorry, let me pan that in my uh, picture frame for my counter. I have this going right here, this beautiful can scented candle. I got where I got it from, and I got this right here, this little thing to go around that I got it from. I think the consignment store for maybe $2. It smells so good. 
these little top these little things I got right here from the Dollar Tree that's put on top of my stove beautiful little ornament decoration for a dollar and here go these dags on straws they know what to do with these straws y'all I said what, what are people doing with these dags on straws so I just pulled a glass from the counter and put them over here and uh, that little mug is full of peppermint and it says ho 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 right by the um, coffee maker so yeah all right let me keep moving y'all because it's so much it's so much to look at it's too much this is going to the bathroom my downstairs bathroom I'm going here and let y'all see again this is going i do have a theme of um whimsy when a winter wonderland so i just took a uh, towel that I, this is a towel i already had and i just took another christmas towel here put it underneath a stocking from last year that i didn't use and make make you know make and made a Christmas decoration right there for the towels. Instead of going out buying these expensive towels, I said I can make my own towel. I'll come up with something. This was like three towels in one. I just pull them apart and just spread them out throughout the bathroom. This is a ginger gingerbread theme. As I said, it's one of wonder winter wonderland. And I bought a uh, gingerbread into my uh, bathroom. So this came from I think Walmart along with the other one the striped one over there like i said three towels in one just took them apart and spread them out throughout the bathroom i got this little set from goodwill i mean this little tree i think it was a dollar 91 cents i said i can do something with that tree i think it probably was at one time played music or something and i said i'm gonna put that in my bathroom this little set came this little gingerbread house came from walmart and as you can see there's another stocking that I used over here for my uh, hand towel set. And I don't like people to use my, you know, most people don't go in other people's homes and use their decorative um, towels. So what I did was just bought one of these. I normally keep this in the bathroom to use to dry your hands off with. And I don't mind, you know, just throw them away. Okay. Going into my finished and last room. This is my dining room. And as you can see, winter wonderland whimsy theme. I love it, y'all. It's so cute. Um, everything I, everything, everything in here I did myself. No help whatsoever. And uh, so as you can see, I did the the um, mesh on the table, black table runner here, and I had to bring out that black with some you know beautiful sparkly Christmas mesh. Um, yeah, I'll let y'all see the whole thing first. Black and white and red is in here. This is a centerpiece, a tablescape, as if you will, whatever you want to call it. Um, because I don't have the whole place and all that out, I don't never like to. I, I, that's not me. I, I will do it, but I I'd rather not because I don't have people just coming over there sitting down eating like that. So I uh, just do it like a centerpiece per se, or a table setting or something like that. But anyway, getting back to what I did. This tree was once my daughter's tree. And so um, it's black and white because of the dining room. Black is black and white, really. And I just threw red in here. I got that Santa Claus from um, Home Goods. Use this little. These are extra little sticks from my big tree outside. It's in the box. I just brought those in and just made a little wreath around his uh, the bottom of the table. And those little lights, those little um, tea lights, they light up at nighttime. I turn those on. And I just want y'all to see this tree real quick. Look at that tree, y'all. Beautiful black and white tree. Black, red, and white tree. Look at the ornaments. I love the ornaments. I did go out a little bit on this on this table because it's in my dining room. Look at the chandelier ornaments. Gorgeous. Yeah. Look at the little boots underneath the tree. Those boxes don't have nothing in it. Just in there for decoration. Yes. Making sure. I'm sorry it's going to be so long. This is ridiculous. Just want y'all to see and so looking at the um let me get the back of the chairs yes Santa Claus little bowls I just stopped right there because I wanted the zebra print to show the black and white to really really show and just the two head tables I mean two head chairs are just covered with the little Santa Claus chair cover my little bar over here got it set up I love this y'all know they're nice <laughs> And uh, yeah, I got this set up. I got me some of these little, uh, what's this, wine and champagne 
little bottles that everybody's been talking about. Yeah. But the real the real look is down here. <laughs> but anyway, y'all look look at the uh Santa belts. That's cute. The little Santa belt. I'll just put on this particular vase. Up top. Ah, uh, look at that, y'all. Gorgeous. Look at this little hat. Look at the hat from. I don't even know. I'm just gonna let y'all see it at this point. Cause I'm I'm it's too much getting too long. Too lengthy. Ouch. Oh that much. Okay, keep going. Y'all. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So right over here this little Christmas tree lights up at night. Cause it's kinda dark in here. So I got that on sale at uh old time priory. And um yeah. Y'all see that little arrangement there. Some more candy. And I got this from the consignment store. It's a cookie jar. And yes, I do have some cookies in it. Hopefully, it's still some in there. I don't know. Yeah. They're individually wrapped. So, you know, it won't get stale or, you know, germs or what have you. So, yeah, that's it, y'all, for, for in here. The black and white chair has, uh, I mean, pillow, Christmas pillow. And uh, I think that's it. I think that is it. I'm gonna pan around one more time. It's a lot of talking, y'all. You get tongue tied. Y'all have to excuse me with all this explanation and showing y'all all this stuff. It's, I knew it was gonna be lengthy because it took me a while. So, okay, I'm gonna go on out and finish up. Gorgeous. And say thank you guys for watching uh, my video. I, if you guys are still watching, I'm sorry it's so long. Um, thank you guys for watching. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And I hope I see y'all soon once again. Peace. Love y'all. Bye. Too long. Bye. -bye. <laughs>